Hey, it's Amy here, and I wanted to talk to you today about managing passwords. So everybody has hundreds and hundreds of passwords, right? And we can't necessarily remember all of those passwords. So what do we do? We write them down. We try to save them in our computer, in a notes file or something like that. Well, the most secure way, obviously, is to use a secure password manager. Now, luckily, Apple has one built in with iCloud Keychain, and your Mac has a keychain that stores important passwords that you use over and over again, such as your email. But um, we actually recommend 1Password. There are many other password manager apps on the App Store, but 1Password has been reliable and we've used it for many, many years. So that is the one that we are recommending. However, it's not for everyone. So I'll just show you a couple of differences between iCloud and 1Password. And then I have a link for 1Password below if you would like to try it out. And it's also free for iPhone. So let me show you some differences between iCloud Keychain to store your passwords and 1Password to manage your passwords. Well, if you go to System Preferences and click on your name at the top where it says Apple ID, this will look like this in Catalina or later. And if not, you'll have an iCloud section if you have an earlier operating system. Once we're in here, we want to go to the iCloud section and make sure that Keychain is checked. So if your keychain is checked, that means that your passwords are also being saved here if you're saving passwords in Safari. So I have my keychain turned on. Now, if I go to Safari and in Safari, you can go to preferences and click on passwords. Now, if you put in your Mac password here, this is just going to show you a list of all the passwords that you have saved with Safari that with iCloud Keychain is also synchronized to iCloud. So you can look up any of your passwords here and then in Safari specifically, these will autofill. Now, if you use 1Password, that's going to look a little different. 1Password um, is a separate app you can download from the App Store. And once you have 1Password set up on your computer, you have an app for 1Password. And 1Password has its own master password. So when you type in your master password, then you get a list of all of your stored passwords with 1Password. Now, the 1Password app also comes with a 1Password mini, so you have a little shortcut right up here in your menu bar. And then you can also get browser extensions, not only for Safari, but also for Chrome or Firefox or other browsers. So when you're online, then this password plugin gives you the opportunity to save, create, and store passwords on websites. If I go to Safari Preferences again, and this time I don't want to look at passwords. These are the iCloud slash Safari saved passwords. I want to look at extensions. And I already enabled my 1Password extension. So this is what allows 1Password to look up all of those passwords in my vault. So this might sound a little confusing, but there are basically numerous ways to manage your passwords, and these are just two of them. So if you're using 1Password and you're using Safari, that can get confusing. So you really want to pick one. Which one is going to work best for you? With 1Password, the advantages are that you can store a lot more than just passwords. You can store all kinds of data in 1Password. So if you look here, I've got multiple vaults. I have um, multiple passwords. And there's also different categories. So for example, these are all my logins, which is the primary use of 1Password. But you can also store your credit card information, your driver's license, passports, bank accounts, and all of these kind of things. 
So one password really serves as a secure storage vault for all of your different types of information. And you can synchronize across different devices. So that would be one advantage to one password. iCloud, the main advantage is that it's pretty much already enabled when you get your Mac or an iPhone, it's already turned on and it's gonna start asking you if you wanna save a password when you log into a website. So choose the one that's right for you. And if you're not sure, I would recommend booking an appointment at mymacmentor.com. Check out our memberships there and also our one password workshops that you can do a live workshop and get your one password all set up. You can try one password with the link below, or you can sign up for a class to get some more insight on all of it at mymacmentor.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.